welcome and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to challenge our balance. So if balance and stability is something that you are working on as well as I am, then keep on watching. Just as a tip, you can do this entire video up against a wall as well if balance is a challenge for you. So grab water, a mat, a towel, maybe a block if you have one or two available, and we'll go ahead and begin. So today we'll start in Tadasana Mountain Pose at the back of your mat. So your feet are about hips distance apart, soft bend in the knees, Palms roll open to the front of the mat, chest, shoulders open up a little bit more, a tiny little tuck of the pelvis, a little tuck of the chin to the chest, letting the crown of the head reach a little higher towards the sky. And with your inhale, bring your palms to prayer, pressing right palm into your left and your left palm into the right, feeling the balance of both sides, the right and the left side body, pressing into each other. Even imagine the inner thighs drawing together, the sides of your core pulling into the midline, and we'll take three deep breaths right here. Inhale, and exhale, let it go. Inhale, belly, lungs, chest, rib cage, all fill and expand. And exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. Deep inhalation. Maybe one more little sip of air. And exhale, windy exhale. Let the arms come down to the sides, palms face forward. Inhale, sweep the arms out around and up, or the hasasana, let the gaze follow upwards. And exhale forward, fold uttanasana. Shake the head yes, shake the head no, maybe bend one knee, then the other. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, start to lift the heels. You're gonna bend your knees, come to your toe stand. So you can keep the fingertips down or bring the palms back to prayer in front of your chest. You can squeeze the inner thighs together to lift the hips off the heels, balancing here. Got the gaze forward towards the front of the mat. And gently drop the hips back down to the heels, drop the knees, coming into your tabletop pose. Good, so the hands are underneath the shoulders. Inhale, sways the belly down, chin, chest, gaze, lifts. Exhale, push the palms down, round the spine. One more round, inhale, belly sways down, arch the spine. And exhale, push the palms down, draw the navel back as you round and coil. Coming back to your neutral spine, right arm, in inhale, reaches out and up, twist. Exhale, right arm threads to the left, drop the right shoulder down, drop the right side of your face down, and walk the left palm towards the front of the mat. Good. You can start to walk the left palm more towards the right corner of the mat. You have the option to stay here or extend your left leg, keeping the toes down onto the mat or squeeze through the left glutes to lift the leg. Pushing down with the entire right arm, the left palm, the right toes, the top of the foot. Balancing here, maybe lift the left leg a little higher. And exhale, knee draws back in underneath of the hip. Bring left palm underneath the shoulder, press into the left palm, inhale, lift and open the right arm to the sky. And exhale, bring the right palm back down. One round of cat cow, inhale, belly sways down. And exhale, push down to round and coil. Bring you back to your neutral spine. Same thing, left side, left arm, inhale, sweeps out and up, twist. 
Exhale, thread the left arm through the right. Drop your left cheek. Walk the right palm forward, maybe even more towards the left corner of the mat, giving yourself a little bit more leverage. You can extend your right leg, keeping the toes down, or lift the right leg. Good, you'll shake, you'll wobble, that's okay. We're here to learn, grow. Maybe lifting the right heel a little bit higher. And exhale, draw the knee back in underneath the hip. Right palm plants under the shoulder. Inhale, press into the palm, open the left arm. And exhale, bring the palm back down. Walk the hands forward, shift the hips back, child's pose. Mm. Two breaths here. And you'll plant your palms, curl the toes. Inhale, extend the legs, lift the knees into your downward facing dog. Pedaling it out, hips are high, feel the sits bones spreading. Find a tiny little arch in your lower back. Push the palms down and forward. <sighs> Lengthen spine. Inhale, start to lift the right leg. Lift a little bit higher. Exhale, draw the knee forward. Pull forward to your plank pose and step the right foot through. Inhale, lift into your high crescent lunge. Bring the hands to the hips. Good, so finding balance and stability here. Think about squeezing everything into the midline. You almost feel like you get a little bit taller, a little bit longer. Stay here, just lift and lower the right heel. So it's lift, lower, good, lift, lower. Couple times here, little calf raises. Next time, right heel stays down. Arms reach up and overhead. Inhale, exhale, thunderbolt forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thunderbolt forward. Good, lift a little bit higher onto the left toes. Maybe see if you can lift and tap them back down. And when you're ready, fingertips touch down to the mat, lifting the left leg, standing on your right leg, standing split. You can stay here. You can wrap your hands around the ankle, around the calf. You can bring your palms to prayer, testing your balance, your stability, making sure the left hip point stays pointing down. Everything is parallel. Toes, knees all point down to the mat. Good, staying here or bring the fingertips back down. Three kundalini squats, so draw the left knee in, sink the hips down. Inhale, open it back up. Exhale, draw the knee, the left knee behind the right. Inhale, open it back up. This time, you can bring your palms to prayer. And drop it back down, palms to the floor, standing split. One breath here. Inhale, open it up to your balancing half moon. So right fingertips stay down, hips open. Bring the left hand to your hip. Push the left heel away, push the right heel down. Strong and active through the hips and thighs. Maybe reach the left arm up to the sky. Maybe even lifting the right fingertips off the mat. And exhale. Forward fold, bring the left knee back in to meet the right kundalini squat, sink low into the hips, palms to prayer. Spine is long. And inhale, lift into your one-legged Tadasana, arms reach overhead or hands to the hips. Just one breath here, maybe two. And when you're ready, Pull the knee in a little bit closer. Reach down with your left hand for the left big toe. You can extend the leg, you can even grab for the calf, or you can just hold the knee. Good, staying here, or opening it up. Extended hand to big toe pose. You can keep your right hand to the hip, or bring the right arm overhead. 
how to stay in it, find that one point, that one dristy gaze unmoving. Bring the knee back into the chest. Inhale, arms go overhead. And exhale, left foot plants down, forward fold. Hmm. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palm, step right foot back, step left foot back. Inhale, shift you forward. Exhale, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Inhale, lift it up, open it up. Upward facing dog. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. You have three breaths here. Pedal it out. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears, a little longer in the neck. Inhale, lift the left leg, reach it long. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest as you shift forward to your high plank. Step left foot through, find your balance and stability. Squeeze everything into the midline. Inhale, lift it up, high crescent lunge. Bring the hands to your hips. And same thing here, just lift and lower the left heel. So you lift, lower. Good little calf raises. A little balance challenge as you lift onto the ball of the left foot, staying on the ball of your right foot. A couple more. This time, left heel stays down. Bring the arms up overhead. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, thunderbolt forward. Get a little bit higher on the right toes. Inhale, lifts the chest, lifts the spine. And exhale, thunderbolt forward. This time, dropping the fingertips down to the mat, lifting the right leg, standing splits. Everything facing down. You can stay here. You can bring the hands to your ankle, your shin, or palms to prayer. Fingertips tap down to the mat. Three kundalini squats. So draw the right knee in to meet the left. Sink low into the hips. Option to bring the palms to prayer. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, draw the knee back in. Spine lengthens. Halfway lift. Palms prayer. Inhale, open it up. You have one more. Beautiful. Staying here. Shake it out. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And drop the fingertips back down, standing splits. This time, halfway lift. Keep the left fingertips down, open the right hip. Bring the right hand to your hip, balancing half moon. Stacking right hip on top of the left, pushing the right heel away. Push the left heel down. Right arm can reach overhead. Your left hand can lift off the mat. You can bring your left hand to prayer. You can bring your right hand to prayer. And exhale, standing splits. Coming back to your kundalini squat. Staying here just a moment, palms to prayer. Inhale. Exhale, lift it up into your one-legged tadasana. Inhale as the arms reach up overhead. And exhale, bring the hands to your hips. You have options here. You can bring your right hand to your right knee. You can... Bring your right fingertips to your right toes. You can stay there or extend the leg. You can open it up. You can bring your left arm overhead. You can do this against a wall. You can shake, you can wobble, you can fall, that's okay. Inhale brings you back in through center. Release the fingertips, release the toes. Hands to the hips. Right foot steps down. Coming about midway down the mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, sweep the arms out around and up, Ordva Hastasana. And exhale, bow down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Good, so coming into your Bakasana Crow Pose. 
plant the palms about shoulders distance, start to bend the elbows and lift your heels. You're gonna bend the knees, coming to Chaturanga arms, so fingers are wide, pressing the finger pads down into the mat, bending the elbows at 90 degrees, Chaturanga arms. Bring the knees to the triceps up towards your armpits. You can gaze forward and then lift one toe, the other toe. You can kind of tap and go here. Good, just hang in, work on it. Gaze is forward, that's really important. And we'll just roll back onto the toes, rolling onto the heels, coming into your boat pose. So sitting on their sits bones, bend the knees, knees to the chest, palms to prayer. 10 seconds, just twist to the right, then left. Right, left, here's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Light touch behind the thighs, rock back onto your spine, draw the knees to the chest. Hmm. Keeping the right knee in, left leg extends long, pull the right knee in a little closer, a little tighter. Right arm reaches to the side, out to the T, and just let your right knee cross the body twist. Gaze can follow down the right arm. Inhale brings you back through center. Draw both knees into your chest. Extend right leg long to the mat. Draw the left knee in a little closer, a little tighter. And when you're ready, left arm comes out to the T. Cross the left knee and cross the body to the right. Big twist. Inhale brings you back to your center. Draw the knees to the chest. And then you can bend your knees, flex the feet, pushing the soles of the feet up to the sky. Reach in between the thighs, grab for the outsteps of the feet, the ankles, the shins, wherever you can grab. And just draw the knees, draw the soles of the feet down. Keeping the tailbone, the spine, the low back all pressing against the mat. And you can just bring the soles of the feet together, keeping the knees wide, keeping a grip on the outsteps of your feet. Just pull it in a little bit closer. You can even use your elbows to press against the inner thighs and your knees, a little wider knees, deeper stretch, inner thighs. And whenever you're ready, we'll just come to a quick Shavasana, extending one leg and then the other, letting the inner thighs roll up to the sky, the toes roll out to the sides. Let the arms be long at about 45 degrees. And just breathe here. Thanking your body for all of the hard work it gave you today for challenging it. Thanking your body for the balance and stability. Your right and your left side, your left and your right side. You can stay here as long as you'd like, but I'll close it out with you right here, bringing your palms to prayer. 
Dropping your chin towards your chest. Bringing your head, your mind a little bit closer to your heart. Namaste.